division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at the lightweight limit, 156 pounds even. His professional record stands at six victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, here is Paul Redzer Redman. And next is opponent across the gauge, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu artist, standing five feet, five inches tall. He weighed in 154 and one half pounds. And after 12 professional bouts, he enters a cage with nine victories and just three defeats. Fighting out of Andover, England, here is Alexi Boom Roberts. Referee, Neil Hall in charge. Neil Hall is our referee. We have Alexi Boom Roberts in the black with yellow. And we have Paul Redser Redmond in the grey. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Ready? Yes, let's go. Alexi Roberts opening up early with a jab. Very nice shot from Paul Redmond, covered a lot of distance, and we saw him do this against Ryan Roddy, really barrel forward across the cage, though. Arming guillotine attempt. Redmond from didn't Roberts. want any part of the striking game yeah. of Roberts. He's very heavy hands, so get that straight out of the way yeah. and get it down to the mats. It's good hit work from uh, Paul Redmond to, to really free the, the control Roberts had up there on that guillotine. He's driving forward again for a takedown here. Big pick up and slam. He's got to try and stabilize himself here, though. Roberts is a very excitable character. I saw him fight Jack Mason at welterweight and just overcommitted because of that excitement. But he seems to be a lot more composed coming into tonight's fight. Yeah, again, still looking for this guillotine. He's got that left arm driven all the way through, but a lovely finish to that takedown from Paul Redmond, really turning his man the whole way. Redmond has never been the distance. Very exciting fighter. Andy Ryan, a master of judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Again, he, he does such a good job of pulling that leg out and really passing the guard in the process of securing that takedown. It's a very dynamic grappling game. Yeah, he really does. I mean, we saw him jump on that toe hold against Ryan Roddy. None of us saw it coming, you know, except his teammates who, who tell us he pulls it off all the time in the gym. But, uh, you know, that's, that's our early contender for submission of the year here at Cage Warriors, as far as I'm concerned. Good knees here. Robert's still holding on to that head. Not too many options for him, though, in this position. That creativity that we know Redmond for. So control all the while, scoring points, chipping away at the armor of Alexi Roberts. Yeah, he's keeping a lot of weight bearing down on him here. Good knees to the body. Again, Roberts is still holding on the head. It's almost like he's trying to turn his hand all the way through, concave his wrist, and... Yeah, Roberts has fought at much higher weight classes. He'll be used to people trying to overpower him. Finding himself now at lightweight. Yeah, I mean, I had to wonder if wrestling was gonna be the, the, the one really weak aspect of Roberts, comparable to his excellent striking and good submission game and we're seeing that here you know he's he's very good at surviving in bad positions but right now he's not really being very active he's letting Paul Redmond just keep banging these knees in one after the other yeah he's controlling the head but not doing an awful lot more than that but then to be fair Redmond is very active lots of movement in this side control position yeah that's true but I think what Roberts could be looking to perhaps do here is let go of the head, put that frame back in and get back to his feet. Clearly he wants to be on his feet, so holding his opponent on top of him here is very surprising. Just look at how powerful these knees are. You can, look at the way that Revan is getting up on his toes in order to slam these knees in, and when they're not hitting the body, they're going to affect the arms. Yeah, they're going to really damage that ability for you, Roberts guys, to get some power in those arms. Can you also see the shoulder pressure that Redmond is putting with his left shoulder around the head onto uh, Roberts' body? I mean, he's let it go now, but he was really arching. Good posture here. Oh, he's looking for the grip. Straight ankle lock. 
Foots on the hip, he's going to switch for the heel hook. Looking to get a grip across the heel. Oh, he's given up the position, though. That is the danger sometimes with those leg locks. He's going to stay in, looking for the uh, toe hold on the bottom. Here. Oh, mounted triangle attempt for Alexi Roberts. Alexi found, wow. finds himself in a very strong position. Time for some payback, he might be thinking. Paul Redmond bucks with everything he can to get out the back door. I think Roberts... Very nicely done indeed by Redmond to get out of danger. Yeah, I think Redmond perhaps was... Or rather, Roberts, sorry, wasted a bit of time there. He sort of sat there thinking, blimey, I'm in a mountain position. And, you know, Redmond used that opportunity to immediately reverse. And we find ourselves in exactly the same position we were 30 seconds ago. Last 20 seconds of this opening round. Really good work with these knees from Redmond. One of our professional contests this evening are safe MMA bouts. Don't forget to use the hashtag CWFC52. Get the MMA chatter going. Stop fighting, stop. As these lightweights duel it out. Great first round, lots to see and talk about there, Josh. Yeah, good first round for Paul Redmond. You know, immediately in on that takedown, as you said, not wanting any part of uh, Roberts' striking game. And Redmond here again with the takedown. Really driving forward. And some of these knees, devastating. A lot of elevation. And they're definitely going to hurt. Certainly going to the body, they're going to slow down Roberts if this fight gets much deeper. But in a bizarre sequence, he... Redmond was in that horrible position of that of a mountain triangle. Yeah, really nice wrestling from uh, Paul Redmond there, though. Turned that position around very quickly indeed. That's a very interesting story, Paul Redmond. You know, he used to be well above 90 kilos. When he first started training, he's really used mixed martial arts to get in shape and get all the way down to this weight class. And as you can see, fantastic cardio on him. Both of these guys, great characters outside of the cage as well. Watch for Roberts to look down at the mat and then throw the right hand. He kind of just looks away from the target and then he'll throw something that you, something unorthodox, like we tried to do there. Yeah, but tried the spinning back kick, but Redman Red was wise to it. Yeah, saw it coming and immediately used the chance to counter attack. Again, driving up against the cage, Roberts is looking for a guillotine grip again, and Redmond really drives forward with such power in that uh, that pickup. Roberts opting for that head control. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a, it's got to be a little bit frustrating for his corner now because it's there's really nothing he can do with that grip from this position. He, you know, he doesn't have control of the body, so there's no choke there, and all he's really doing is opening himself up to these successive strikes. He really, at this stage, needs to be abandoning that and thinking about how can I create a frame, how can I get some space, and how can I get back up and out? Because right now he's looking to spend another entire round eating these devastating knees from Paul Redmond. Yeah, he should be able to get a half guard back and try and turn in and get his guard back. As Redmond is obstructed by the fence. Oh, and it was a attempted bridge from Roberts. Redmond was wise and he's Freed himself and his head now, bit of knee on belly, just gave enough space. Redmond stamping what? through that left hook. Yeah, one hook in, let's see if he can get the second. He's right in front of his corner oh, as well. easily putting the second hook in. Roberts leaving so much space in this turtle position. Redmond's going to try and sink these hips in now, really. He's got the seat belt Flatten control. his man. One over, one under to control his man. Well, full back control now for Paul Redmond. He's going to see if he can oh, work this choke. A few strikes, I think, to soften his man up first. Three minutes left in this second round. Plenty of time for Roberts to make this stick and oh, heavy, get something. Heavy hips. Get something to finish this fight. Roberts has got to start straightening a leg, and now he's gone completely flat. You can see the bend in the spine. Manages to crawl his way back to Turtle. It's going to be very painful for him. Everything's done with the hip figure, isn't it, Josh? It's very the, aggressive. The hip pressure is. Look at the torque excellent. and power that he's putting into this ground and well, pound. I think Redmond sees a finish here. He's mixing in the strikes, the elbows. Roberts is still putting up some defence. He is still moving. 
but he's got to get some sort of hip movement in here. Roberts is very tough indeed. But the ground and pound coming from Redmond. Yeah, he's got an arm pin now, short elbows. Roberts has got to start bridging, he's got to start bucking. He needs to do something to try and upset the base of Paul Redmond, because while he's got this base, he can throw all the shots he wants, and he can throw them with power. There we go, he tries to bridge. The phrase intelligently defending oneself. We see that Neil Hall is very close to the action. Yeah, Paul Redmond kicked the, the legs and the hips free very nicely. He's earned a good side control again. Let's see if he goes knee on belly. He's looking for it. Well, he says knee on chin instead as oh, he turns his hips yeah, around. We're seeing knee on face a few times tonight. Immediately again going for the back. As we said, Roberts can survive in bad positions very well, and he's certainly having to here. He's got an arm as well there, Josh. Oh, yeah, we're let's obscured. See, let's see if Paul Redmond goes, goes for the armbar as he falls off the top. He's certainly going to give it a crack, I feel. Still a minute left in this round. A lot of control from Paul Redmond. I mean, the judges have got to be thinking, you know, if they have to score this round, a 10-8 could certainly be on the cards. Hasn't really been much offense from Roberts whatsoever. And it's been everything that Paul Redmond wants to do. He's shown his class in this round, that's for sure. Again with ground and pound, he is relentless. Neil Hall looking very closely, the elbows, ooh, doing a lot yeah, of damage lots to the forehead. more success with the elbows and the punches. He's got to be careful, he hasn't burned his arms out, but this is a very good sustained attack. And the, the referee's out, that's called it. it. Neil Hall calls an end to this, and Paul Redster Redmond gets another win on Cage Warriors. What an excellent performance he from Paul Redmond. He is still perfect, he is now 4-0, and surely he has made a real statement in that lightweight division. His yeah. corner have come over to him and they have big smiles all round from the Team Rhino contingent. I mean, look, he, he can't be upset at all with any aspect of that performance. The wrestling was great. The, the submission game, although he didn't go for any, the positional work was brilliant. The ground and pound, the knees we saw first, and then just the, to keep the pace going at the end there. Very good, complete performance from Paul Redman. Well, here's the start of it, Josh, the takedown maintains his position, side control. We saw a lot of back control as well. He was stamping through his hooks, tried the submissions they weren't there, and then just unleashed unanswered shots. And right at the end of the round, it was the elbows that really did the, the big damage. No complaints there from Alexi Roberts, just obviously frustrated with his Cage Warriors debut. Hand it over to Joe to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, four minutes. 30 seconds round number two, referee Neil Hall puts a stop to the contest. Stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO victory, Paul Renton!